Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Operencia, The Stolen Sun. This is a uh, it's a party-based first-person RPG, like the old Might and Magic games or, or Bard's Tale, uh, where we're going to be running around in sort, sort of adventure. We're building ourselves a party and then heading off and and fantasy-style adventuring. Uh, being developed by Zen Studios, it came out here on March 31st. And I'll have a link, of course, below. Uh, but I thought it was worth checking out, so we're going to go ahead and and do that. Skip the prologue. No, I wanted to see the prologue. Prologue is, is um, well, it's, 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 uh, it kind of throws you in the deep end, so you can see what's going on with this game. On the other side of imagination, there lies Operencia, a world where reality embraces fantasy, where dreams foretell destinies, where history meets legend. I hail from this land, and I have a story to tell. I was there when the great dragon, Thade, rose from the depths. None could stop him. Humanity faced its doom. Until arrived the Sword of Legend. Until arrived Attila. Okay, so we are, um, for the prologue thing, we are basically taking control of... A group of heroes, and then we'll. Uh, after all this, then we'll go and build our own character and set off into the story. But uh, King Attila accomplished the unthinkable by uni unifying a land uh, of Operencia under a reign free of war for the first time in its known history. Unthinkable has happened. This time, anything but peaceful demonic forces from the underworld have constructed the first gates to Operencia long enough, large enough to support an army. They're taking full advantage of it. It's our job to close that gate up. So we got myself, I am uh, King uh, Attila, or Attila, and I got my buddy next to me. And we are heading off to close that gate as best we can. Um, if you play the um, uh, the newest Bard's Tale came out just, uh, what was that, last year? Two years ago? It's a very similar kind of idea where you uh, we have sort of a grid-based system, but it really feels like a real-time movement. We should have seen this coming. Well, it's not every day an army dares launch a surprise attack against the mighty Attila. And it is not any day that an army defeats him. Admit it. Part of you admires such an ambitious assault. <laughs> you know me too well, Rekka. It's just... You prefer to be the one surprise attacking. Like I said, you know me too well. We're here. I should mention about old Attila Be ready for is. anything. The source of the invasion lies ahead. Have you any idea what to expect? Possibly. Perhaps you'd like to prepare me. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. And there we have it. A scorned past love on a quest for revenge. I wish I could immediately dismiss that assumption. Oh, this will be interesting. As I was trying to say, old Attila here, he'll be the first to tell you just how amazing he is. He's just, there we he, are. he's a, a good guy. Bucket. You might want to ready your bow, my queen. We'll need it soon. So you can see uh, in the minimap there that I'm actually like, here's W, goes forward, and then A, I'll you know, let you handle goes this, aside. my love. Uh, so it, it really feels like we're walking around. I can just hold W and it looks like I'm walking around, looking around and all that, but it, it is a turn-based thing. And we're walking away Nicely this way. Done. We can kind of roam, in, roam, in, uh, roam around this way and head over here to the, uh, I where, where we want to go. I shall never question your king's instinct again, no matter how mundane. And you better not, ever again. Looks like it's time for some real action now. All right. Let's fight. Sneak up on this guy and ambush. No everyday marauders. This gate spawns creatures Operencia has never seen. Don't worry, human. There are many more to come. They talk. Not for long. Okay, so the reason we play this prologue is it kind of gives a nice rundown of the of the game. Um, if you play these kind of games before, you know what we're getting into. But our party's over there on the side. All my my skills that each party member has is down here: health and energy. Uh, this is our first battle. Yes. In each item, you can see the damage it does and, and where it attacks. There's like three rows of, of combat here. There's the, the front, middle, and back. And depending on what you choose, like the barbed arrow here, does more damage to the back than it does if you're in the front. And then there's different types of skills as well. There's the damage we do. There's the, uh, the cooldown. We've got hit chances and critical chances. Uh, the effects as well. Um, the as one I mentioned before, the efficiency. Uh, there's melee, ranged, and spells. Uh, we also have uh, targeting single things or all things. And there's a sphere. Legend says there are ancient combat tactics which are based on the sphere of the abilities. I haven't quite figured that one out yet, but I'm assuming it'll show up later on. Um, stats of the skill gradually evolve as the character advances. 
of course. So, and there's our turn order over on that side. So, let's go ahead and kill these guys. We got our archer here, um, Reba, or whatever her name was. We're going to go ahead and, and Falcon Strike. Shoot three arrows simultaneously to do some damage. And it hits to all enemies. You can see what it hits all rows equally. So, let's go ahead and blast these guys. And you can see as we highlight these things, it tells us what they're, uh, they're resistant to fire damage. Um, and there is, I think they're resistant to Berserk, or maybe they are Berserk, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cleave them, though. We have a few different, this is our, basically our warrior, we can taunt them, we can give ourselves a defense bonus and a heal uh, bonus, we can we can do a um, recharging our energy here, uh, we can we can uh, silence them if we want to, we're just going to cleave these guys. Like that. Not quite kill that last guy, so let's just, let's just, how many of you guys, you got 15? Let's just, um... Let's just bash him. There we go. Okay. Done. My king. My queen. You have arrived. Hello. Again, sir, your majesty. Oh, sorry. A traveler. Strange that none of my troops accompany you. Where are they? Dead. Please, come with me. Oh, that's the last guy we want to be following. We were very close to sealing the gates when a wave of Underworlders came along. Slaughtered everyone. Underworlders have been known to craft gates to Operencia, but nothing close to this enormity. Let's seal this damn thing. I see the light traps are in place. I'll activate the first dish. Okay, so, uh, puzzle time. Let's go, I uh... am blessed to witness your powers of light firsthand, my lady. It's only the beginning, friend. <laughs> Reflecting solid rays across the gate. I had always heard gates to the underworld are much smaller than this, even undetectable to most Operensians. I know only of gates intended for individuals. This is the first centered on full-scale invasion. How many others have you seen, my lord? Just one. Long ago. Far away. The soldiers sent to retrieve this part did not return. Good. This was feeling too easy. Let's hope it's nearby. You know, the guy's probably dead. You shouldn't be so mean to the guy. Alright. Let's let's battle. Alright, so we got some poison resist. Uh no, just fire resist. Fire resist, folks. And uh, and fire damage and fire, yeah, and berserk. Uh let's go ahead and we got our wizard up first, so we can silence him. Uh can you guys be silenced? Let's just go and do a uh, we can we can invoke madness into them. We lightning strike this blizzard one's pretty great. It does frost damage and lightning damage. And it has a chance to stun them, which I'm all for. So let's do that. There's three classes in the game we've got. And we have them all right here. Wizard, Warrior, uh, Mage. Yeah, or Mage, Warrior, Ranger. And uh, and um, we'll see all this. As soon as we get into this prologue, we'll see all that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some rocks on them. Falling rocks. Hits everybody for some damage. Sure. Take that. And then uh, and then me. Uh, or my uh, this guy. Let's go ahead and cleave. We hit all of them for 40 damage, which is most kill most of them. Yeah, I'll kill one of them. I hurt, I hurt a lot. There's our counter attack. Um, he's up again. Let's go ahead and do a heal. Give ourselves some hit points. You can see all my bars over there. And I'm going to have you do your arrow strike, falcon strike. There you go. I don't enjoy killing, but you're an exception. <laughs> there okay. it is. The missing dish. Thanks. Okay, let's get back. Over this way, we're gonna make sure we have IA and then W's uh, over here. I think you know what goes here, Your Majesty. Yeah, I got it. Naturally. Of course I know what's going on. Have you told you how amazing I am? Alright, let's go and look at that one over this way. The other one that's off? I think so. So I'm just, just using my mouse and sort of wiggling it around here. Point at that guy. How did you survive? I was away. Then I hid. My only option, I'm afraid. Indeed. You are with us now. There is no need to hide any longer. I've never felt safer in my entire life. <laughs> he has that effect on people. At least the ones he likes. Alright, let's take care of a succubus here and a couple more uh, more dragonkin. Wizard up first. Uh, I think we're going to go with... Um, we probably can't do any sort of silence things, assuming with a succubus. Charm for sure. Let's go ahead and do a. Uh, let's bring that blizzard out. We got fire resist. How do you feel about blizzards and lightning? That guy's stunned. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him with um, falcon strike. Yeah. 
There we go. And then uh, this guy. So again, I, I, think, I think I mentioned this. We are basically like max level heroes right now. And so as the game progresses, we will we'll get the new new guys. So we're just kind of seeing like just how amazing we can be at some at by the end of the game, I guess. Um, and I want you to just go with a um, what do you got? You got twenty nine. You're in the front row. It's not gonna do me any good up here, I don't think. I'll try. It. Let me see what happens. Yeah, only seven. Yeah, because it's okay. I see. And then you just bash her. Oh, you evade him a bash. Okay, okay, okay. Um, none of that. Oh, you don't feel so good. Let me go ahead and give you a heal. There you go. And then I actually could use some energy as well, which he can provide the energy boost. Um, you also have that as well. Uh, let me go ahead and just um, throw some rocks on her. Why did you? Why did you avoid that? I'm trying to kill you here. Um, yeah, just just kill her. Oh, stop blocking my attacks! That's not nice. All right, here you go. Killed by a mage with an axe. Conquered small villages that put up a bigger fight. That's embarrassing. All right, so we get just this last one here and put it on that one. Is that, oh, oh, yeah. Oops. Which one are we on? Oh, way over there. Okay, let's go back over this way. Now our energy, I don't think changes any. We can, you can see the hip, the, the healing potion over there. Oops. On oh, this one over here. Is it that? Yeah, that one right over here. Okay, put you on there. You did it. Nice. And now we only have an entire underworld army to deal with. Sounds like my kind of a day. Their celebration was short. A surprise attack from above burned everything around them to a crisp. What was that? Exactly what you're thinking it was. A dragon. Surely they are only legend. If only they were. I'm suddenly feeling a lot less safe. Uh, no offense, your majesty. <sighs> okay, quest complete. Went over this way and uh, go find ourselves a dragon. There he is. There. Did you see it? Yes. Yes. It's too bad you won't be able to face him yourselves. Succubus, to me. If I must. Your reluctant succubus hails from the underworld, wizard. You do not. Why must you stand in our way? My order knows what is best for this realm. That is all you need to know, King. Succubus, attack! I... I... Now! No. It's a wonder she stayed with you that long. Now you must actually fight for yourself. Okay. Immune to sleep and stun. Got it. Let's take this guy down. Oh, he's got friends. Alright. We'll counterattack that. I'm just going to go focus on this guy. I think we can heal. We don't need... Uh, do we need to heal? 30%? No, no. You know what? Let's just blast this guy with a lightning bolt. Take that. And I'm going to go hit you with the, uh, the old barbed arrow. Because I think you're in the back there, aren't you? And then maybe you're in the second row. Um, I will just bash. You're too far, I think, away for a bash. But I can... I think I probably should do this one. That way we can get energy recharged for all my people. So, for the king. There we go. Got some blue back. And I'm going to go ahead and do a heal real quick. Get us topped up here. I think we got a dragon to fight after this. Let's draw some rocks on him. Uh, Falcon Strike's always a good one. There we go. Ooh, a counter. The whole thing there with the old the the cutscene with with the succubus, I'm still very confused about. It. I've seen it a couple times now. And I don't know what's happening with that. Like, clearly he had a succubus that was working for him, and she said no. But why is she not fighting? I don't understand. And also, I think she might be like the narrator. I'm very confused. Man, she's hurting. All right, uh, I can't silence you, can I? Oh, I can, I can silence you. You can't stone or sleep, but I can silence you. 
Hey, let me silence you guys. Um, you specifically. There we go. Silenced. You can't do that. You're silenced. Alright, let's go ahead and do a... Um, also, heal some of that. We boost up our party members. We could taunt. Let's taunt. Hey, attack me. Thank you. We got three more turns until that mass heal is back, so let's go ahead and do the old blizzard thing, I think. I like that one. There we go. Man, that hurts. Ouch. Um, let's go with a, uh, yeah, not today again. And then I want you to go ahead and spark. There we go. That was a good hit. Ooh, we're all frightened now. Um, he's a little ways away for a bash. Uh, it sounds... Yeah, let's try this. And I think I'm going to have you... Should I have you heal me? Or let's just drop some rocks at people. Man, he's uh, countering everything. That guy's kind of a jerk. Okay, one more round to that heal is back. Let's go ahead and lightning strike him. There we go. Okay. You have only to meet your death, Conqueror. You will not defeat the dragon. I beg to differ. Okay, let's go ahead and hit a heal healing potion here. Can I give it to... I'll give you one, and I'm going to give you one. Okay. Where's this dragon at? Here. There he is. You're Fade, aren't you? I was warned long ago this day would come, but I never believed it. Are you so eager to die, Dragon? You represent your species well, human. Completely ignorant and full of hostility. Says the leader of an invading army? Though born in darkness, Dragonkind favors the light. Long have I watched from below as my brothers and sisters have attempted peaceful homesteads in the middle world, only to face constant threats from humanity. We seek a realm under the sun, here in Uberencia. You simply will not allow it. You are no different than the others, Thade. Do not pretend dragons have ever arrived to Uberencia fueled by anything but fury and malice. You are wrong, because I am different. I am the first to enter this realm with nothing but fury and malice. It is the only way. Can we kill him now? Yes. I don't know why he says we're the bad guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... What can you do with the dragon? Can you put you to sleep? You have fire breath and you're a boss. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Um, I think we just go with a lightning strike. Blast him with some lightning. Counterattack. What do you do? Do you hit me? Uh, I want you to go and... Which one is he in? Is he in the first one? Just drop some rocks on him, I guess. Or we could heal... Let's heal my friend. There you go, buddy. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, I was worried about that. I'm out of energy here. So, uh, I guess I can't do it. I thought she was the one who did this energy re regaining thing. This one. I can't. Alright, just hit him. There you go. Oh, because I'm silenced. Uh, oh, you're silenced too? Alright. Well, you're worthless if you're silenced. Yeah, do some, do some guarding. And um, I suppose we're going to go with a... Um, go with an energy shield just to make sure we stay alive. Yeah. Yeah, on, uh, on me. Okay, this guy hurts. Uh, put yourself on guard. Until that silence is gone. And uh, I want you to go ahead and uh, do a range attack. There you go. That'll, that'll show him. 
And how about some fallen rocks? Okay. Uh, bash them. Wait, you know what? I want to get that energy thing back. Don't want to do that one. Just bash them. Blocked. What? Let's go for a heal. Um. Sure. Is this going to hit you a bunch? Yeah, one time. Um, I think we need to go with this thing. He's blocking everything of mine. There we go. We got some energy back for us. And I'm going to go with the uh, the old blizzard. Right? Fire dragons don't like cold. It's got to be like the worst thing possible. Stop countering. We need to heal right now. So let's go ahead and we'll try the old barbed arrow. 14. So has a shield. We can probably put shields on, on. This guy seems to be getting chewed on. Let's go with a uh, word of power. Silence them. Can I silence you? Oh, I can. Okay. Lightning strike. There we go. And um, I can't fear a dragon, can I? I don't think so. Let's go with a bash. Immune to bash? What? Um, I would like to spark. There we go. Okay, I want you to... Can you just one more turn for the heal? Or the shield, I mean. Go ahead and heal him. Ooh, he's chewing on you. And I want you to... If I cleave, it does it to all enemies, right? Um, well, you know, let's do this, uh, this healing strike. And you like to. There we go. My mage is what's keeping us together here. Barbara Darrow, sure. Perfect. Okay, um, I'm gonna cleave you. Even though it's just you. Here we go. Spark! Yeah, that wizard's alright. Okay. That sword. I was. Not prepared. Few are. None are. Did you truly hope to resolve this matter with sheer brute force? It seemed to work for you. You still don't understand, do you? I suppose I never will. Attila's triumph cemented his legacy. The scourge of demons. Peace reigned, until one day, the great king died, and with him, order and unity. Attila's great battle was but a forgotten tale. Driven by vengeance, the underworld developed a new plan. With no strong leaders in Operentia, who would dare try to stop them from invading the middle world? Who, indeed? And so begins our story. The meager level one hero. Who's going to set off on some adventures. Uh, I aid observation and automatic mapping objective markers. Sure, yeah, that one's fine. We got battle hardened. Uh, progress auto saves frequently. Or only save at campfires. We'll keep the normal one. We got permadeath. Nope. And we have betyar. Enemies present with a moderate challenge. Or enemies are much deadlier and harder to defeat than the normal mode. We'll go with normal mode. Yeah. Character creation. Okay, so we can be a warrior, hunter, or mage. We saw how amazing the mage is. So I think we gotta go with that guy. Yep, uh, that's me. And I look like... Oh, that guy. Um, I want to be... I should look at him all here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, how about... <laughs> we'll be that guy. Yeah, that's me. Okay, my, my origin. I can be from... Bergens, Bergengosia. I get bonus, bonus strength and hit points. Round 4 gives me intelligence and energy, which I need for uh, magic. Uh, plus 2 to all attributes. Extra passive skill slot at level 12. And all skill cross reduced by 10. Agility, vigor, range, hit rating. Well, gonna, I'll, go with, I'll be from the round forest. And I get a 10% chance to ignore elemental damage. Sure, sure, that's me. Now, attributes. Uh, as a wizard, I think the things we really need are going to be... Well, you can see it lights up here. I don't really need that so much. Maybe it's a little bit of energy, I guess. Uh, this is going to be critical chance. Uh, intelligence is all about critical chance and initiative. Wisdom is energy. Vigor. I'm going to go with uh, wisdom. 
and intelligence. Something like that. Yeah, that seems all right. Okay, I choose tell. I have lightning strike, fear, or bonfire. Create a bonfire within to do six to ten damage or five to nine. Fear. Um, let's go with um, let's go with like a fire mage. Bonfire and fear. My name is Odinti. Okay, let's begin this adventure. Long ago and far away, a young farmer dreamed. A white stag guiding him to a special place. Every night it returned as he slumbered. The same deer, the same hidden path, the same castle under a lake. His father knew this to be a sign. Surely the work of Chodasarvash, a miraculous deer of legend. Reluctantly, he urged his son to follow the calling and to never look back. For he was a young farmer no more. The next morning, the young mage admired the sunrise. He set forth on a journey he did not yet understand. His only guide, a vision that made him question his sanity. It would only get stranger from here. That was no vision. That was my Patronus. A sense of awe struck the young mage as he approached the sunken castle. He had no explanation for the unnatural sight before him. A pathway led from the forest to the foot of the lake, and then through it? As he passed through the swirling wall of water, his wonder suppressed his fear. Each muddy step drew him closer to his destiny. All right, your life was simple until now, but then you had a dream. The same one again, and the same one again. Every night, white stag. Every night, a sunken castle. The time has come to follow that dream and brace yourself for total weirdness in the great adventure to come. Inside the gate sat the figure of a man against a pillar. He appeared unconscious, or worse. The young mage thought him dead. He poked at the body with his flimsy blade, just to be sure. Ow! Hey, how did... who, uh... did you just poke me with a sword? How do I know I shouldn't have done more than just poke? You have nothing to fear from me, friend. I'm guessing you even have me to thank for entering this cursed castle in the first place. Well, you're not stealing my reward. I've already had enough taken from me today. Reward? Of course. You created the path in the lake? I possess... well, possessed... the magical amulet of Zotmund. And I went through hell to acquire it. The amulet's power opened up the entrance here. Thing is, it's no longer mine. As I entered this forsaken fortress, a wretched old man saw fit to pin me down with an arrow and steal it. And for good measure, he knocked me out with his bow just before he left with the amulet. The welt on your forehead is remarkable, yet you're basically unharmed. He seemed to take great care not to irrevocably harm you. Tell that to this irrevocable headache. Help me up, please. I think I'm all right. Well, good. Then you can tell me what you know about this place. Happily. I'll explain as we go. As we go? I wish you well, whoever you are. But I don't need you joining me. The name is Yoshka. I don't care what yours is. And I'm not joining you. You are joining me. That's not how this works. I'll just shut up and open that chest. Should be a key in there. There, you see? A key and some other goods as well. We should equip those. Okay, so let's take a look at our party here. So we've got our party screen. We have me and old Yoshka, who's along with me. Uh, I would like to put that thing on that I just picked up. Um... Why is it glowing like that? Uh, equip item. Yeah. Well, my items are all in the, uh, in, uh, I don't know where they are. Uh, inventory. There it is. Uh, I'll put the, uh, the robe on. And, um, yeah, equip that one. Uh, there, there we go. And, uh, I have a sling. Uh, I don't need a sling. And a key. Okay. 
We have the journal. Save the captives from underwater terror. And then all the uh, help stuff. Okay, got it. There's my, my new cloak on me. I don't know what why it's blinking at the hats. Cause it's, oh, I see. I see. Uh, all right, let's go. And uh, oh, open the door. New guide entry. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Why would anyone lock this place up? There's nothing here but water. On the ceiling. And in the hallways. Oh, hello, buddy. We're underwater. Oh, okay. I don't want to fight that guy underwater. I might die. Don't look at me. I don't have that key. Oh. You know what? Let's go in there and kill that guy. Where'd he go? Have fun trying to open that without the right key. Oh, there he goes. Let's get him. Ambush. That's right, it was. Okay. Um, say keep your guard up, but I just want you dead. So this is uh, whatever name. What, what is, what's his face? Here we have Arbalism. We have a Valeriana's kiss. Impest your enemy with four, uh, 247 poison damage. They are poison resistance. So we're not going to do that. Well, then let's go ahead and just... Uh, let's just guard for right now. And I will do bonfire. You guys don't like fire damage, do you? Fire is sensitive. That's right, you are. There you go. Okay, swing and a miss. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and just focus on this guy here. And I'm going to put... Oh, we got two turns until that comes back. I I'm going to try to fear you. Is that going to work? Oh, they're both frightened. Nice. Oh, that's frightened. They still attack me. What's that say? Uh, damage is halved. Okay, okay. Um, let's go ahead and do the... Um, just gonna smack you down, finish you off. Take that. Two whole damage. And I would like to strike you down. I'm gonna burn you also. There we go. Okay, done. And we got some loot. We got a fist shield, protects the minimum surface area, allows greater mobility. All right. Can I have oh. a shield? That's a new one. If the legends are true, these were men once, transformed by the curse that sank this stronghold, condemned to serve King Breck until death. And I suppose this King Breck wants us dead. Him, the dragon. Does it matter who really? Dragon? Yeah, that dragon. Let's find a safe place to rest and we'll talk. Stay quiet for now. We may attract more Zoldek. Or worse. Okay, so I think it's a good place to call it a day. This is Operencia, the Stolen Sun. It is available on Steam now. I'll put a link below and you can check the thing out. I think it's on GOG as well. If it is, I'll have a link for that as well. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.